What's up guys, Trail Dad here and I've got a short but pretty cool video on how I installed my full bike frame protection. So this thing is from RideWrap and it's a company up in uh, Canada. It's actually from Whistler, uh, BC. And from what I've read and heard, it's comparable to the Invisiframe that we usually get from the UK. Um, so basically you can go online, um, type in your bike uh, model and year and um, they're gonna have a custom built uh, vinyl uh, self-healing pr uh, frame protection for your bike. So uh, let's get on it. Um, I guess we provide you with a squeegee. Nice. Some cloth. It's pretty cool actually. Just to clean the stanchions after each ride. So make sure you guys use the diagram that came in with the bike wrap. Uh, that helped me a lot in making sure and keeping track on the uh, sections and do the uh, the bike wrapping step by step. Some model here. We'll follow that one. And a couple of uh, cleaning wipes. All right. So the first tip really is kind of an obvious one. So make sure you clean your bike properly and um, get in all the nooks and crannies, especially around the shock and the suspension links. The kit came with some alcohol-based wipes, so make sure to use them as the final wipe down after you wash the bike. So for tip number two, uh, before you start peeling off the vinyl wraps, you need to get your spray solution dialed. And it's just water with a few drops of baby shampoo. Of course, it's gonna depend on the uh, what kind of brand uh, or baby shampoo you use on how many drops you need to get the perfect solution. But a good starting point is just use three drops of baby shampoo into one liter of water and you can try it out on the first section. If the wrap is too slippery, slides too much and can't keep it still, you have to dilute it and add a little bit more water. But if it's hard to reposition when you apply it and you can't really move it around to adjust uh, to get the perfect uh, fit, so just add more drops of baby shampoo until you get that uh, solution dialed. You should be able to apply, uh, reposition it and remove it and reapply the wrap easily using the solution. So tip number three, you gotta spray generously on the wrap and also on the frame. Don't be afraid to respray as needed to reposition them. Sometimes if it takes a few times, uh, you know, spraying and putting it on and removing it and reapplying it uh, to get the perfect fit. So I've noticed that um, it's a lot easier to use your hands and fingers to smoothen things out. After you place a wrap in the right position, I've only really used the squeegee to uh, bigger areas on the frame, like for example the top tube and the down tube. So for the most part, I just smoothed it out with my fingers and then just used the cloth to wipe and uh, absorb the extra solution out of the wrap. So my last tip for you guys is to just wait a few minutes after you've finished installing one section before you go to the next one. This is because right after you apply it, um, over a few minutes, um, even without, even when you thought that the wrap job was super smooth, some bubbles might uh, can form, and uh, you need to get them out as soon as possible because when they, when the uh, the wrap dries out, it's gonna be really hard to get that um, the bubbles, the air bubble or like the solution bubble out. So that's it guys, I hope you find this video helpful in um, installing your own uh, frame protection. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more mountain biking videos like these and I'll see you guys on the next video.